I'm going to go ahead and turn on the control points. And I'm going to move these up. Yeah, history's breaking all over the place. I'll just turn it off. All right. So there's that. Now, yeah, this. All right. And then uh, I want to pick. Now, here's, a, here's an interesting thing. If you'll notice, I have all these dots on here, these control points. And in this view, I want to pick. I want to pick some of the. Uh, I want to pick some of the outer ones, but I'm picking all of them through there. This video is starting to get long too. I'm agitated. Um, so now, let's shade that. So now, what I want to do, because I want this to come over, so this isn't going in it. There's a command called Cole Control Polygon. All right, so we'll hit that, and it's on. Now, what does that do for us? That that makes it so that uh, let's see, where's the one I'm not using? Let's put that on here and turn that off. That makes it so that um, the control points, and we need to we need to flip this over. So I'm gonna I'm gonna type the word flip. There we go. So now, um, what that does is that makes it so that you only see the control points on the side that you want to work on. So now when I do that, these don't show up down here. How about that? I've shown that before in, in classes. But it's crowd pleaser. All right, so now let's move this out here. There we go. That's what we're looking for. There. I don't do too much control point editing, but when I do, it's usually something interesting. All right. There we go. I want one going over the other, just like that. Now the interesting thing is that uh, well, that's not bad. I guess I don't know. Tell me. Um, we can do a couple things now here. Let's make a copy over here. If we want this to be all one surface now, depending on what we're doing, because we didn't trim any of our surfaces, I was real careful not to do that, we can now uh, do um, merge. And merge is right here, and we can merge one surface to the other surface. Boom. That makes this, here, let's do it this way. Let's undo the merge. All right, so check it out. Watch the ISO curves. Oh, let's flip this over. All right. Yeah, see, see, this has this kind of like I got a little sloppy, and it goes up and then back down, down, and there's a little seam there. If we merge, which is right here, we go this one to this one. It makes it so this is all one surface, as if it was drawn that way to begin with, and that'll relax that seam and make this all one deal. So there you go. So now, if we go to offset this uh, out, there we go. Yeah, now it still is having trouble with this tip, which is agitating, but that's okay. We can fix that. All right, so now we'll go curve. All 
Okay, so now I'm going to draw a line across here and then mirror this to the other side. And let's go ahead and trim this. And uh, let's bring, let's join this, bring this back. You get split by this. And that'll get rid of that anomaly. Then we're going to do a blend from the edge of this to the edge of this. And I'm going to go surface sweep to one, two. And there's that. Oh, and I have a problem. Man, I'll tell you what. Every time I do a video, I'd whine about it, but um, there's there's a problem. That's a bad split. It happened when I split the surface right there. Did it? Is this split? Yeah. Watch. Watch, so watch this piece right here. The minute I hit undo, whoot, gone. Let's do it this way. Um, maybe it was that that did it. I'm going to do this tool then. Let's do it that way. You get split, split, split by you. Bad split happens some of the time. Okay, so now this is going to make this more interesting. Um, now we blend from here to here. There we go. Now, uh, in order to do, let's try this then. Under surface, uh, let's do um, patch. We'll do that. Preview. Yeah. That'll work. I hate doing those little lame patches, but what are you going to do? All right. Whew. Earning it. So now we have that going on. And we're going to blend. We're going to click on surface blend and we're going to go this edge, uh, enter to uh, this edge. And that edge needs to keep on coming. There we go. And I'm gonna click on um add. So here's a here's a trick. If we say add shape, there's a shape and there's a shape. And coming down here, I want to add a shape from here to here. And then from here to here and then we hit enter to quit adding shapes and then I'm going to drive these down so that it's not as uh, weird there we go we can move these shapes anytime we want there we go. There we go. And we say OK, and that makes that surface go down and around there. This is a curve. Let's hide those. That's not a problem. 
So now we can select all this business and hit join. And uh, yeah, that was that was just in case I needed it. And we could still mess around and move this down if we need to, and so on. But that's that's not bugging me. Now, if we wanted to close this up, this is going to be all one surface now. So here's what we have to do. See, watch, check this out. If we go surface, blend, and we click here, it goes all the way around. So in order to fix that, we go to utilities and we go to split edge, and we click this edge. Oh, you know what? Maybe I had, uh, hang on. That's how rumors get started. Blend. Ah, auto chain equals yes. Never mind. Watch out for that. Because see now I click here, enter, here. Oh, oops. Let's let's go back. That wasn't all one edge. There's that. Auto chain lets one edge become multiple. Not what I wanted in this case. All right. Then we blend again from this edge to this edge. Join. I think the rest is, is kind of history. You know, I guess for the inside part, um, I would simply do the arc. And uh, I would do um, pipe. Um, like so. Oh, I want. Um, I wish I would have done round end. Oops. That was aggressive, but uh, you get the idea. 2D scale in this viewport. I don't know what those look like. I should call up a picture, whatever these look like. Um, let's do a solid extract surface. Right there, and then we'll do circle or sphere center. There we go. You get split by you. Ah, didn't split it, but. Uh, if you just pick rounded end on the on the um, on the pipe, then we'd be good to go there. All right, that's how you do it. Or one way, anyway.